an intercontinental ballistic missile was shown being moved through the intersection of Southwest 10th and Topeka Boulevard in this photo published in 1961 in the Topeka Daily Capital. This is Tim Wrencher, the history guy for CJ Online, talking about how underground silos built at nine sites surrounding Topeka housed Atlas missiles topped by nuclear warheads between 1961 and 1965 at the height of the Cold War. The Air Force revealed plans for the project in October 1958. Work began the following year to construct the concrete silos in a ring of sorts around Topeka's Forbes Air Force Base as a defensive measure against nuclear attack. The federal government spent more than $140 million to build the silos and install the missiles, which were declared operational in 1961 at the nine sites marked in green on this map. The map comes from a website maintained by veterans of a squadron that manned the sites. This photo, published in the Topeka State Journal, showed a convoy transporting a dummy missile through downtown Topeka on Kansas Avenue in March 1961 during a practice run to test convoy escort personnel and equipment before the real missiles came through. Those missiles, which had an estimated range of more than 6,000 miles, were declared operational in October 1961. They were kept in a horizontal position in the silos, which were all built within 52 miles of Forbes Air Force Base. But the missiles weren't in place very long. They were decommissioned in 1965 after new technology rendered them obsolete. Forbes Air Force Base then closed 45 years ago next week on September 1st, 1973. Today, the silos tend to be privately owned. The site north of Holton is the location of Jackson Heights High School, while this photo, published last November, accompanied a CJ Online article telling how the one north of Eskridge was being used both as a bed and breakfast and a private home. This is Tim Wrencher, the History Guy for CG Online.